Hi guys, today I'm playing Idiot Maiden, which is about a girl named Rana who's kidnapped by three mysterious talking dolls. He wanted to use her in a ritual to summon uh, the vampire prince. And she decided she didn't want to be any part of that, so she locked the room in the room that they're in, taking the ritual in, and basically left to try to escape out of the house. Ladies, the day has finally come. Okay, this is the pink doll. We have finally found a maiden to use for our ritual to summon the powerful and handsome vampire prince. Ha ha ha. Blue doll. Ho ho. Eldest sister, where did you find this young girl? Pink doll. I found her while I was taking a stroll outside. She was lying in the middle of the road. Road, it was quite a lucky catch. Ho ho. It's not common to find a human being around this area. Much less a young dead girl. <laughs> I, she doesn't look dead. She looks like she's asleep. Looking closer, this maiden does not look very appealing, Eldest sis. Ho ho ho. You're right. She does not look as near as beautiful as us. Ho ho. Okay. Well, the book never said the maiden had to be beauteous. Better than nothing, I suppose. <laughs> She's still sleeping. Hmm? Huh? What the? Where am I? I was just dozing off by the bus stop earlier, wasn't I? Ugh. Did I stray away while napping? I keep forgetting that I'm a toss and turner kind of sleeper. How? The girl was alive? Whoa, talking dolls in my dreaming? This is impossible, I find you lying on the road and you have an air arrow in your head. An arrow? You mean this? It's a fake one I wear for Halloween. These dolls aren't very smart. <laughs> Look, it's a headband. You're not dead, but the ritual needs a dead maiden to resurrect our vampire prince. Eh? Maid? I'm supposed to be dressed as an undead velvet gothic princess. Ugh, maybe that was a mouthful to say. Maybe I should have dressed as an ordinary zombie instead. Damn it, alive or not, we will summon the prince no matter what. I'll stab your chest and complete the ritual. Ish, why is a talk talking doll trying to kill me? Back off. What's with that pathetic shove? You think you just stop me like that? Ho, oh, I'm a doll. I have no nerves in my body. I can't even die. I should I smash you? I'm like you. Huh. Oh, she left. It has to be a dream. It has to be. Ouch, my cheek hurts. It's not a dream. Ugh. How did I get here to begin with? Let's see. I was about to head home with my friends after our only party in school land. Man. Bye, Rena. Get home safe, alright? Make sure to use bus stop number 15, not number 50. You got it? Got it. See you at school tomorrow. Which bus number was it again? 50? <laughs> okay, this girl's not that bright. Right. I used the wrong gas bus to get home, so I had to wait for the next stop back but took a nap. But then how did I get here all of a sudden? Well, they kidnapped you. This place is giving me the creepy crawlies. I need to leave. Is there bones? There's a pile of bones on the ground. It isn't from a human, is it? This isn't the main entrance, isn't it? Please open. It's locked. Boo. Is there another way out of this place? Maybe there is. Locked. Fork and spoon on the table. Let's take it. What's this? A sink. Fridge. Blech. It smells like moldy tomatoes in there. I see something moving in those murky jars. Okay, that's gross. Is there anything here? A bowl of soup. Place a utensil. Um, let me see what this is. A bowl of salad. Okay, let's place a fork. Soup, spoon. 
Okay, it does something. Spooky. <laughs> okay. Flame that appeared out of nowhere. Okay, that was all the way on this side. Oh, this piano's not gonna kill us, right? Piano. Who's this? Picture of an unknown man. Must be the vampire prince. <laughs> okay, I can see why they want to resurrect him. <laughs> Handsome. He looks like that one idol named Sexy from one of the pop groups I'm listening to these days. I was going to see one of their concerts last month, but what happened? Hey, Rana, are you excited to go to that concert today? Because I am. Yeah. Hold on, I got a text message. Oh no, I totally forgot. What's wrong? Well, I was supposed to be the one in charge of cleaning duty today after school, and I've totally absolutely forgotten about it. Rana, would it be okay if you could take my place instead? You know this concert means a lot to me. What? Me? Pretty please, I promise I'll pay you back big time. I even tried to get an autograph from one of the members for you. Oh well, okay then. I ended up have to end up doing cleaning duty and never got that autograph she promised. Oh well. I would have never done that. Hmm, the lower part of the frame is sort of protruding. There's a switch behind it. Key dropped out of the frame. Same dressing room key. Okay. I think that's it. That's locked. And this is a pair of rubber gloves. Take it. Why did the music stop? Nothing interesting. Nothing interesting. This is the washing room. Okay. That was it, right? Okay. Dresser room key. Okay. That's a, a fancy white dress. Thought that was a made outfit. Pretty. I wish I would wear something like that, but I would probably look like a fool wearing it. Thinking back, I almost bought a breast similar to this when I was shopping with my friend not too long ago. Rana, do you find anything you like in this store? Yeah, look at this white dress. Isn't it beautiful? I want to buy this. Huh? Don't you think that would suit you? I don't think that would suit you, Rana. Light colors don't suit your complexion. It doesn't? Yep, I know. How about this green dress? It goes well with your hair. Well, if you say so. I bought the green dress instead of the white dress, but I never bothered to wear it since. It's probably collecting dust in my closet right now. Boo. Sure just got in the dress. Oh, this dress is missing one of the jewel buttons? It really stands out too. That's not good. I wonder if I could fix it. I'm going to need both the sewing kit and the jewel button to fix this dress. Grand for our clock. A vanity mirror. You can see yourself in the mirror. Okay. A white dress would suit her. <laughs> I can't believe that she was dead. She wasn't even bleeding or anything. Nothing interesting. Nothing interesting. Oh, there's a sewing kit in this closet. Same sewing kit. Okay, nothing interesting. I need. There's nothing interesting. Okay. I need a jewel. I can't go there. Fish tank. There's a piranha swimming in it. I've never seen a piranha in real life before. I remember I wanted to keep a pet fish for myself one time. That couldn't have went well with it. But you're going to get a better fish, Rana? Yep, I like their pretty fins. Hmm, but having one just one fish would probably make them lonely, don't you think? You should buy two better fishes so that they can keep each other company. You think so? Alright. I bought two better fishes, but they're both male, so they end up fighting each other to the death. <laughs> oh man, taking care of fishes is tougher than it looks. Hmm, I see something shiny at the bottom of the tank. Yes. Look, the prawn almost bit my finger. I can't grab it if it's that fish is in the tank. I wonder how I'll be able to reach that thing. I'll find something. How about the dolls? 
Lock the room. Are they still in there? Open the door this instant. Eek, they are. Alright, they're really mad at us. We should hurry and escape. Okay, that was the other side to this room. So let's go up. No? No? Okay, let's go up. Bathtub full of red liquid. Is that blood? I can see something sparkly in there, but I'm too afraid to touch the water with my bare hands. Wear the rubber glove and search the bathtub? Yes. Obtain the blue key. Okay. Sniff. Wait a minute. This is strawberry juice. Weird. For a second I thought it was blood or something. Speaking of strawberry juice, I'm being reminded of that one time when I was in the cafeteria. Rana, were you going to get that mango juice in that vending machine? Yep, it's my favorite kind of juice. Well, it's the last one, isn't it? I want to try it myself as well. I've been buying the strawberry juice a bit too many times. I know, how about we exchange juices? You can try out the strawberry juice and I can try out the mango. In exchange? Sure, it was such odd. The strawberry juice was too sweet. It was like a... It was like drinking liquid sugar. At least my friend was able to enjoy the mango juice. It is indeed a good drink. I don't know, her friend? Doesn't sound like a good friend. A sink? I don't know. After witnessing so killer dolls, I think I've already went. Okay. Her friend is just... What's the point of installing a window in the bathroom? People could peep through the window if I did my business here. That's true. Her friend seems to be taking, like, I don't know, taking it for granted. Hey, a library. A handmade storybook. This book looks built, looks well to be a handmade one. Did one of the dolls make this? I made a book myself for fun once. A fan fiction book. <laughs> okay. I usually do it for fun, but... Mana, what are you writing there? Huh? Oh, it's nothing. Just scribbling in my notes. Nonsense. I think I see you writing a story. Let me see. Oh, a romance story of you and sexy. His name is freaking sexy. Sorry, it's a little embarrassing. It was only for fun. Please don't tell the others. Rana, what are you sorry for? I didn't know you could write. And you're so talented. It would be a waste not to tell the others. Me? Talented? Of course. Hey, let's go tell the others about the story you made. As much as I appreciate my friend's praise, all the others treated me as a laughing stock. Now writing doesn't feel so fun anymore since that incident. Oh well, it looks like I can draw other people's sexy fan fictions. What's written in this book anyways? Once upon a time, a frog leaped out of the waters and into hot melting lavas. There it died and its body transformed into a great spirit. Boo. I'm not too much into tragedy stories. Okay, her friend set her up for failure. Nah, she was lying to her. I don't like her friend. <laughs> a shelf full of satirical books. She's heartwarming books. Romance. Adventure. Biography. Tragedy. Mystery. Magic. Fantasy. Drama. Action, comedy. I feel like those would be significant somehow. Do I have items? I have a swimming kit and blue key. I still need a jewel. I have a blue key. So many candles. I hope I don't accidentally bump into one. I don't want to cause another fire again. Like that one time in cooking class? Oh god. Rana, do you finish sauteing the onions? I just finished chopping up the rest of the veggies. In a minute, these onions are cooking pretty slow. Hey, your heat set is really low. You should increase it a bit to cook the onions faster. But I'm not really good at cooking yet, and I'm worried the onions will burn. Rana, we only have a few minutes left till class is over. Just turn it up a little real quick and we'll be good to go, trust me. Alright, then increase the heat. Jesus. Her friend sucks. My soul malfunctioned and I accidentally burned the whole home economics class down. How unlucky was that? That wasn't unlucky, that was sabotage, the freak. So something on the ground. A giant ball of wax? Someone was probably bored. 
Oh, it's a little faint. But I can see something inside of it when I look at it like it's the light. I wonder how I could get it out of the wax. A wall of wax. What's this? Caution full of melted wax. It's still very hot. It's for the dolls. I guess for their bodies? A shelf full of books about candle making. Okay. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. A small doll shaped bed. A mirror. You can see yourself in the mirror. You'll still look the same. Something interesting. Decorative candelabra. This is a light of fire, but I'm not really sure. There's something else here. inside the ball of wax, but where should I go? Uh, let me go back. Ball of wax. I don't have a lighter or anything. Oh wait, I can use the fireplace. Let's see if that works. Okay, flames out of nowhere. Yes. Carefully place the ball near the flames enough for it to melt. I got it! <laughs> Looks like a jeweled button. Pretty. Okay, got a jeweled button. So we can use it for that dress. the best seamstress, but at least I was able to sew the button on. Oh. Hmm? Something fell out under the dress. Obtain the purple key. Okay. Oh, it's purple. Okay. There's a lot of fancy props and costumes here. Are they for a play? So it reminds me of the first time I acted in a play for school. It doesn't involve your friend again. Well, friend. Around the bad news, the student that was supposed to play as one of our dwarves for our play got sick. We got no understanding since our role was so minor. Could you be the dwarf in their place instead? Eh, but my play f is Snow White. Isn't that important? That's alright, I can play the role for Snow White for you. Friend is terrible. <laughs> I'm so sad. Besides, you're short. You'd be a good actor for the dwarf. Yeah, but I'm not that short, am I? But sure, what are friends for? There was a lot more screen time for the dwarf world than I thought. My acting was pretty awkward since I didn't rehearse that role at all. Costume for a play. A harp. Acoustic guitar. A costume for a play. A skull. To be or not to be? I'd rather not. <laughs> It's a small jewelry box. Seems to require a passcode. Oh my god, a passcode. Yeah, I have to figure out that. But decorative, okay. A hat. Flower prop. Is there anything here? Nothing there. Nothing here. Poem. 
gloves. Okay. Hat. Costume. It's a large mirror here. A shovel glass mirror. You can see yourself in there. Okay. I like your outfit. Small sized doll bed. Something in the drawer. It's a note. Piano, bones, left fridge, romance book, washing machine. Piano, bones. Piano, bones. Is there a piano somewhere? Wait, let me see. Closer look, you see the number five engraved on one of the keys. Oh, okay. Five. Should I write that down? I'm not really sure. Let me see. Let me write that down, because I don't think I'll remember it. Okay, five. It was bones. Where's the bones? These bones? Pile of bones. Expect it. There's nine. Ah, oh, piano bones, fridge, romance, washing machine. Okay, fridge. What was the fridge? It was here, right? No, it was here. Washing machine. So the romance. I have to go to the library. This is super easy. I thought it would be doing challenging. Where are the romance books? I have. No, it's drama. Action. Comedy. Is it somewhere here? No, was romance up here? Washing machine. It's so weird they have a washing machine here for some reason. It's just bizarre to me. Uh, where is the washing machine? Is it here? Okay, it's here. Washing machine. Expect it. Zero. So the numbers are. Was it nine six five two zero? Nine six. Okay, and that's it. It was a nine six five two zero. I feel like I wrote that down wrong. I get this wrong? Oh shoot, I don't want to go all the way back. Uh, I was writing it down somewhere. <sighs> let me look again. Uh, let me see. So it was piano, bones, fridge, romance, 
washing machine, piano, oh, I have to go all the way back and I don't want to do that, <sighs> okay, where's the piano, here, but there was a 2520, right, so I got, was it 6, okay, so it was 5, that's the first number, how did I get 9 from, was it 5, 6, and then there's the bones. Okay. Okay, it was five nine six. Or let me go to the fridge. Let me try that. I can't believe I <laughs> I wrote it down and then it was on my phone. I wrote it down on my phone and then I accidentally deleted everything. Okay, it was five nine six two zero. Okay, five. Nothing but a small toy frog in here. Oh, it's soft. Squishy squish. Tame toy frog. Maybe I could use it on the fish tank. Maybe they'll I want to eat that. They'll, they'll mistake it for food. Okay. Okay. Can I use... I don't know, toy frog? No, I can't use that. To reach, what can I use then? I mean, I still have what do I have? A random note, but I don't know what to use that for. A toy frog, what can I use that for? Did I miss anything? Should I go back to the tub? Maybe I should. Not really sure. Show here. I think there's something about a frog in this book. Okay, once upon a time in Lag with Thousand Waters and some melting lava there I died. Great spirit. Maybe that tub is a metaphor with the hot melting lava. Or maybe the fireplace. Who knows? I can use. Let me go to the doll's rooms again. Go to the blue one. The pink one is all that's left. Uh, I don't know. Oh, okay. I can throw it in the pot of blacks. Yes. <laughs> the heck? <laughs> what? Trog transform into a bottle of spirit. Same liquor bottle. That's. <laughs> I'm not old enough to drink yet. Although I have tried it once before. Your friend pressured you into it. Hey, Rana, want to sip this? Uh, doesn't that drink have alkana in it? I can't drink that stuff. 
Mona, what are you afraid of? It doesn't even have that much alcohol in it. Try that besides. It's fine since we're at home. Trust me. If you say so, just one sip. I threw up after that. I didn't even drink that much. It doesn't even taste good. How can people stand the taste of this stuff? That's true. Alcohol is pretty nasty. Okay. So we have... Oh, maybe I can use it on the fish. Maybe. Okay, yes. I'm drunk. Piranha, stop moving. You reach out to grab the object at the bottom of the tank. Pinky, finally. Okay, let's go inside. Oh! Eek! Out of all the rooms in this house, this room looks the creepiest. So they tried many times before. Okay! Oh, I had to move it. on the table. Three, five, one. Okay. Oh, that's scary. Did that do anything? Did that do anything? No, it was in the three, five, one. Wait. Three. Triangle is three. That's five. And that's one. Okay, so I switch it. Oh, dang it. appeared out of nowhere. Tanky to the backyard. Oh, okay. Rana, do you like me? I don't. Huh? Of course I do. You're my friend. And as a friend, would you do anything for me? Would you die in a ditch for me? Ah. Eh? My friend never said anything like that. Why did I imagine such a horrible thing? Sorry, but your friend's a terrible person. Let's just be honest here. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing inside. Cults and rituals. Unknown man. They all have that. <laughs> okay. God, what is that outside? God, what is that? I don't know. Okay. Let's get- oh shoot, did they escape? Huh? The door is open. Don't tell me they've- There you are. We've been looking everywhere for you. Uh oh. Surprise, we were going to bust that door open one way or another. You can't lock us up in there forever, you know. But seeing as you're still here, you are quite an idiot. Idiot? Of course, even though the main door is locked, you could easily escape through the windows. Yeah. Hmm, <laughs> right. How did I not think of that? Sheesh, can't you think critically for yourself? A foolish person that can't do things on their own is no better than a lackluster puppet. 
You probably let other people tell you what to do and agree with it without thought. Yeah, she does. That's why you deserve to become our sacrifice. You're better off dead anyway. Anyways, now that we've broken out of the room, escaping now is futile. You won't be able to get out of here anymore. Ho ho, my elder sisters would be ecstatic because I catch you. <sighs> oh, now come here, you. Oh, do I have to get chased? I hate getting chased. I have to go to the backyard, though. No way. Get away from me. Oh, shoot. Ah, oh, I got- I got caught already. Yeah, that was expected. Yeah. Okay, I want to go to the backyard. Yeah, that was expected. I was not fast enough. Okay, let's... She got me already. She got me. <laughs> oh god, I hate this. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Oh my god. <laughs> it's three of them. God, why? No. Okay, okay, I unlocked it. No way, it's a den here in two. It's over now. I finally have you surrounded. No, don't come any closer. Uh, I don't know. This is locked. Where to go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? I don't know where to go. I can... Oh, okay. Okay, I got inside. Rana, you'll do it for me, won't you? You're missing one doll, though. We're friends, right? And you care about me a lot? So it's okay if you do what I want, uh, what I say, right? And it's okay for me to give you all these things you don't want. It's okay because we're friends, right, Rana? Is that what friends really for? Open up, you damn brat. If you don't, I'll open the door by my force, so give up already. Oh god. Why? What should I do? Uh, what's this? Black case? Is the password hints you're wearing it. It's, uh... Oh, I'm wearing it. Uh, the dress? What did her dress? She described it as... Uh... She was looking for, like, an, a dead princess? Was it... A gothic princess? Okay, I'm gonna put gothic... Where's G? Okay, I can't see that. G and O. H. Gothic. Um. Gothic. Dress, right? Do I do it space? No, that wasn't space. How do I do space? Space bar. Is it not? Or gothic princess? Black purple dress? I thought it was gothic dress. Oh, uh, what was it? I'm wearing it. Uh. Outfit 
black lace shoes. Okay, it was gothic dress, so G-O-T-H-I-C, and then D-R-E. So there's 12 words. There's 12, so there's, I don't know, brown gloves, gothic dress, wasn't it? Because there's like 11. Uh, arrow headband. Brown gloves. B R O W N. One, two, three. That's eleven words. Gothic. What was it then? I don't get it. How is it not? You were shot by an arrow in the head. Brown gloves with a nice light. Oh, is arrow root? Oh, okay. Gosh, that was an to realize. Okay, it's arrow root. And then R. Right, it was arrow root, right? Why doesn't that work? Am I missing something? Arrow root, right? And there's three left. I must be missing something. Was it not? Arrow root? Or maybe arrow head? Yeah, but it wouldn't be, or... It'll still be like 11 in the end. Arrow fruit. I don't want to get your... You're wearing it, okay? But like... Wait, let me go back. Uh... Let me try this. And then O W. Then it's still not gonna work, is it? And then T. Then to give up because I don't know. Should I just open the door for that? I give up. Fine, you're right. I am like a worthless puppet. I'm a loser who can't make choices for myself. I only let people tell me what to do and do their biddings for them. If I'm going to live my life like that, then I don't want it. You can have it. So go ahead. Do whatever you want with me. Make me a sacrifice for your demon king or whatever. First of all, it's vampire prince. Second of all, you made the right choice. Better to get it over with than to struggle. But don't worry, I'll make sure you'll die quick. <laughs> no! But I won't guarantee that I'll be painless. Ho <laughs> ho. Ah. No, did I really die? No. I can't figure out what the freaking password was. I said that it was arrow root. I was like, what else would it be? Okay, the end. Oh, that's really the end? Okay, I'm gonna try to get... I have to, I have to try to open that case. work. That's incorrect too. 
Oh my god, I'm wearing it. I'm like, what is it? What is it? Maybe I should try that again? Uh, R, where's R? Was it? It was it arrowhead or arrow root? I think I did that wrong. Okay, arrow root. I think I, yeah, it was arrow root. <laughs> oh my god. I tried this so many freaking times. Uh, let's try this. It worked. God, so many times. There's an axe inside the case. So we smash the doll's head in. Equip the axe. An axe? It's not heavy. I feel like I can swing it with ease. That's it. I warned you. God, these dolls. Like, can you get someone else? Eek. Oh, -ho. I told you I can open this door by force. I'm done playing cat and mouse. You're going to become my sacrifice for the ritual, whether you like it or not. Ho 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 Oh, that laugh is so... So... Bye, Rana. Get home safe, alright? Make sure to use bus stop number 15. Not 50, got it? Wait... Got it. See ya at school tomorrow. Hey, isn't she supposed to use number 50? Why did you tell her 15? Why? Because it makes her look like a fool. It's funny. She agrees with everything I say. What? Isn't she your friend? We're not even that close. I just hang out with her whenever I'm bored and when my best friends are busy. Besides, she's so easy to pick on since she's such a loner. Her face looks so funny whenever she's miserable too. Ho oh, ho. Wait. Ho oh, ho ho ho. So I didn't mishear that. She never really saw me as a friend. She was doing it all for herself. I'd do her work and let her tell me what to do, all because I was afraid she would stop hanging out with me. Because I thought no one would want to be my friend except for her. I put my trust into someone who never cared about my feelings, about my feelings but herself. I guess I am an idiot. Oh, that's so sad. I knew she was trash. What are you mumbling on about? Do you not realize what situation you're in right now? You know what? I don't care. You're just a creepy talking doll. I'm tired of having to deal with other people's garbage. I'm not going to let some rotten people like you tell me what to do. I'm putting my foot down. Rotten? Now you're just asking for a death wish. Try me, sucker. I got this strange act and I'm not afraid to use it. Can I save? What in the- How did you get your hands on that holy axe? Holy axe? Hold on, don't do anything. I wouldn't do. Calm down, we can talk, alright? Hurrah! Oh, you hurrah! No! Whoa, her whole body just disintegrated. So, this ass has holy magic? Hmm, if I recall in the game I played, holy magic can purify evil spirits, so I can easily kill those dolls with this weapon. Alright, one down, two more to go. Time is a wrench time. What? I thought my little sister had finished you. Wait a minute, that ass. Don't tell me. You've... That's right. I'm coming for you. For you. <laughs> Get away from me, you ugly witch. I'm not ugly. I'm just a little misshapen. That's right. Help me, eldest sister. Now we need to find the doll that started this mess in the first place. Will she be in her room? Not this way. Not this way. Uh, let me try here. No, not here? In this room? Uh, you know, let's do this. Let's do this. We're confident we have this holy axe. We can do this. I see my sisters have been defeated by you. You don't seem so devastated by it. 
Ho oh, ho, that's because I can always create new dolls whenever I want. They may not have the same souls like the last ones, but who cares? After all, they're just really my sisters. They're not really my sisters, just foolish little pawns. Aww. Do you want to know why I want to do this ritual so badly? A few years ago, I too was once a human girl like you. But I was lured here by a man who had claimed to have known my father. He murdered me, just so that I could harvest my organs and sell them to the black market. Oh, that sucks. You know when the man took me here? Because there's a factory nearby that creates toxic fumes, big enough to be able to reach and pollute this area. Not to mention, many dangerous animals roam around the woods nearby. Animals that could kill a human being in an instant. This place is so dangerous, there would be no reason for anyone to be coming here. So if someone has sent you to the woods nearby, they probably won't expect you to return. Um. Even after I'm dead, my spirit still remains. Why so? Well, you've probably seen the gigant giant picture frame in the lounge room now, haven't you? Picture frame? The one with the guy on it? That's right, that man is a vampire prince. The one I've been wanting to summon. Does his face remind you of someone? She's gonna say, Ah, he looks like the member of Sex C from that popular pop band. Yes, so you see, before I was killed, I never had a chance to see one of their concerts. Just once. I wish I could see them. <laughs> what? I see them live? That's why I wanted to do this ritual, because it'd be like seeing Sex C in real life. <laughs> That's the reason? Are you serious? Are you... What? You wanted to sacrifice me just to see a look-like pop member? Is that important? I can't move on without seeing my bias live at least one time. Then why can't you just haunt your way into their concerts? My soul is trapped within this cursed area. It sucks, but I can't even use Wi-Fi to see the latest updates or songs. <laughs> this ritual is no doubt the best option for me if I wanted to move on. You want to achieve your dreams that badly, even though you're already dead. That's actually quite inspiring, in a weird way. And so, I don't want to throw my life away for other people's needs anymore. I will go back before I do, but before I do, I'll purify you with this axe so you can properly pass. You think I'm just going to accept being purified? I want to see sexy no matter what. Why can't you just sacrifice your body for the ritual, God damn it! If you want to do the ritual so badly, then why don't you sacrifice yourself? I don't get a chance to see their concert. To, I mean, their concert live too, you know. Maybe I'll just use the ritual and summon the vampire prince for myself. Come here, you. Ah, get away from me. Oh shoot. Oh, oh no, no, no. No, no, no. I'm so slow at this. Okay. Okay. Oh. Well, that takes care of it. Rest in peace. You may not be able to see your bias in your last moment, but I will attend your next, their next concert to honor you. <laughs> That's the reason. <laughs> I was to get their bodies back or something. Well, yeah. Wait. You. <laughs> it's. <laughs> she ended. <laughs> Who else summoned me from my long slumber? Oh, for some stupid reason. I'm so sorry, Vampire Prince. Ah, it was you, young lady. As gratitude, I will grant you all the power you desire. You... This whole mess was your fault. You're the reason why I almost got killed. Stupid vampire. <laughs> He's like, what's happening? Huh? Ugh. I can't believe I almost get, had to give up my life for a couple of creepy dolls just because they wanted to see you. Thinking about it is making me so mad. I could just hack you with this axe to release my frustration. Ugh. <sighs> Who am I kidding? All this running around and axing has gotten me pooped out. My whole body is sore. Not to mention, once I go back, I don't think I'll be able to see that girl who I once called a friend in the same light again. 
Uh, my life is a horrible mess. You seem awfully distressed. Judging by your statement, you must have gone through a lot in order to summon me. You look quite exhausted, but even so, I can see a glimmer of perseverance within you. So don't underestimate yourself. With that said, I would be grateful to serve you. In exchange for waking me up, is there any way for me to help you? Would you like power? Control? I can even help you get revenge on your so-called friend. Whatever you wish will be <laughs> for will be my command. Revenge? Nah, I'm too tired to deal with revenges right now. But since you mentioned favors, you got any spare ch change in your pockets? My bus ticket expired a while ago. What? My legs are killing me too. Can you give me a piggyback ride to the bus stop as well? <laughs> okay. I mean, you said you serve her. Hmm, this is actually not so bad. <laughs> I haven't had a piggyback ride in so long. Yippee! Hey, if there are any vicious beasts around here, can you fight them off? If you're a vampire, you should be able to use your magic powers to defend us, right? Sure. Cool. Can you show me your magic powers? Like, taking down that tree with laser eyes? Not while I'm still carrying you can do that. Wow, so you do have laser eye powers. Looking closer, you really do look like that pop member, Sexy. Can you sing? We should hang out at a prairie bar one day. Although your voice sounds a little huskier than Sexy's. What's a karaoke bar? You don't know what a karaoke bar is? Have you been looking under a rock? No, I've been sleeping in a coffin for hundreds of years. Oh yeah, I forgot. Maybe I'll show you around town someday? There's a lot of places I want to go. Like that cafe and the carnival and the restaurant with tons of spicy dishes. What is this girl going on about? Sure, anything you say. Yay, I think I could get used to telling people what to do. Just kidding, I'll try not to be overkill. Hey, I wonder how fast the bar, bar the bus stop is at. I'm feeling a little sleepy. Do you mind if I doze off a bit? Go ahead. Hee <laughs> hee, good night. Hey, don't sleep. I'm not going to carry you all the way to your bed. Oh, she saw. She fell asleep. He's like, ugh, oh, what did I get myself into? I shouldn't have come out of my coffin. Yeah. That's the end of Idiot Baiting. Well, I like that ending. That was a good ending. I'm glad she was able to see that her friend wasn't really a friend. Like, that girl was so trashy. And she was just so desperate that friend, she just overlooked anything that she did. I hope she gets revenge on her, though. Like, she totally deserves it. I mean, I'm very honest here, she deserves it. Overall, this was a really fun game to play. Really silly. The puzzles were pretty easy. I just have somewhat terrible memory. But overall, it's a really good game. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Bye.